I was born in Cuba. I came to the United States at the age of 10 by myself. So I found myself in a new country, didn't speak a word of English, uh, didn't have a penny in my pocket, and I didn't even like the food. <laughs> when I went to uh, see a guidance counselor in high school, and he looked at my family's finances, which were non-existent, instead of uh, advising me to become an engineer, which was my dream, he said, son, you should be a mechanic instead. Uh, my grandmother was a school teacher and a poet and a pretty spunky lady as well. <laughs> so when I told her that I really wanted to be an engineer, she said, Ralph, don't let anybody put limitations on what you can achieve. And I did a controlled alt delete on that counselor's advice, went to college, got my engineering degree, and the rest is history. The true measure of a leader is uh, one who can take a team and get them to achieve things that they thought would be impossible to do. I've been fortunate to have been in the right time, in the right place, when teams really yell and deliver something that nobody thought was possible. The first time that it happened to me was when I was leading our operations in Bell South Latin America. We were the startup wireless provider in 11 different countries, and the company had never made money. We had different partners in different countries, all with different individual issues and he had to get them all on the same page before he got his management team on the same page. In a year, uh, that team turned the company positive. I was delighted when Latin America finally became profitable on a reliable basis. When we were working on the AT&T wireless singular wireless merger, it's at the time the largest all cash merger in the history of the U.S. People would tell us that we were going to lose customers going through the critical busy season, which is the Christmas holiday season. The team delivered the greatest number of customer net additions in a quarter in the history of the wireless industry at the time. Ralph was really the guy architecting that whole merger. It was just incredible, and me coming into it from the other side was blown away by what this team had put together, and then started to understand that really it was Ralph. It was Ralph's leadership driving that. Today, Apple is going to reinvent the phone. The iPhone and the smartphone was quite a phenomenon that Ralph was in the forefront and the leadership of that. Nobody thought that the iPhone would be that huge of a success, but we had a team that worked very closely with Apple to make sure that that was a great product and it exceeded everybody's expectations and, and the world is a different place as a result. So the smartphone revolution is something that I think I would I really treasure. No one can take should be given more credit for the iPhone than Ralph De La Vega. I'm very passionate about helping young people achieve their full potential. So I've worked very closely with uh, organizations like uh, Junior Achievement Worldwide, with the Boy Scouts of America, all focusing on the aspects of helping youth understand about entrepreneurship, about financial literacy, getting ready for the workforce, and to learn the right values in the case of the Boy Scouts on how to lead your life. He has always cared about kids. We would bring young people over to Bell South and then later to AT&T to shadow employees. He's done amazing things for kids in this country through Junior Achievement. When you look at the amazing success that Ralph's had, um, and you look at how he treats people, it just hasn't changed. I mean, he is a very humble individual, even with his great success. And then when you're around him, I think it, it makes you want to be the same way. Uh, I feel very honored about being inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'm also here, not because of my individual accomplishments, but because of the accomplishments of the teams that I have been privileged to work with throughout my career, and because of the mentors that I've had I'm extremely delighted that he is going to get this recognition because Ralph has earned it and he is a good man. <laughs>